For the next 100 hours, I will be living with the most dangerous cartel in the entire world. Yesterday when we went out with Benny, his, his squads get, get raided. They, they, don't, they don't think that has anything to do with me, right? Like, I'm you're, good. But you're the main guy right there, bro. That's the good thing you got me, bro. With an ex-hitman protecting me, for the next five days, we climb the ranks of this cartel. As we earn their trust, we're granted deeper and deeper access into the daily lives of Mexican gangsters. Holy sh If we survive the first four days, they'll allow me to interview one of the world's deadliest hitmen, a cartel sicario hidden deep in the jungles of Michoacan, one of Mexico's deadliest states. <laughs> You're now watching day two of living with the Mexican cartel. I'm Arab. I spent my early 20s locked in my room as a professional gamer. I quickly noticed my life passing me before my eyes. Now, I spend my time exploring the globe's most dangerous and undocumented places because riding the line of death is where I feel most alive. Explain, explain to the viewers what happened in the back end while we were off camera. So, over the past basically, few hours. guys, um, we, were lucky that we were lucky enough to not run into a to a really uncomfortable position where we were going to be at the wrong moment at the wrong time. So the person that we met yesterday, he's a, an important piece in the mafia here in, in, in the cartel for the Mexico City. Yeah. In the center of Mexico City. So him taking us out yesterday um, drew attention to him. But alhamdulillah, we did not go into the hood hood where they have their, their stuff because it got raided a few hours after we were with him. And the reason it drew attention is because just we like... We were recording. We were recording and, the, you know, cops around can easily tell that someone is a member. It was more about him showing his face, you know? Yeah. He was trying to, he was trying to be uh, a good person. Yeah, he was yeah. trying to be hospitable. He was being, he was being very hospitable to us yesterday. The plan was to go to the refugee camp um, and then after that go to his, his actual locations where where he has his, his, his stash, he has his weapons, he has his people. Because you might have seen he only has two, three people. That guy has a lot of people. He could have been driving a BMW, you know, a nice car, but he doesn't like the attention. If we would have gone to those points, and let's say that we would have, we would have left, and then after that we would have got raided, me and you would have been kidnapped. Yeah. We would have been taken because of that. And we could be so, in any one of these buildings here. Tied to a chair, getting tortured and beat up. Oftentimes, the most dangerous thing about doing these kind of videos is not the people that you're with, because you know you have protection, you've been approved. Uh, it, it's it's most of the time if the government catches on and they they do a raid there, or if an enemy organization catches on and they do a raid there, that's where the danger comes in, because not only now are are they your enemy even though they don't care about me, right? They would be using me as bait. But now the people that I'm with think I ratted and now I'm in trouble. So that's the highest risk factor here of, of doing these kind of videos, of showing you how the real life is for people that were born into this life. So let me explain. Earlier today, we replaced Ali Sims because we believe his phone was tapped. We believe this because two weeks prior to our arrival in Mexico, Ali did an interview with Lad Bible, which amassed around 1.5 million views, making him a now high profile target. Two high profile figures being seen with a powerful person of interest. Well, you can imagine how that could cause issue. These streets here are full of whole um, Same thing, right? No, it sounds way worse. <laughs> you're right, you're right. There's just everywhere and I guess the hotels in the area so how much do they cost 700 pesos so so about forty dollars down in the south where we're gonna go to the next the next state guess how much they cost they cost 150 pesos, 100 pesos. Eight, eight, nine dollars you ask them like why why are you doing it you know and they're like I have kids I'm trying to finish school most of these women are, are, are studying bro you see the the checkpoints that they have back there well these are police checkpoints yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, they're looking for, for specific people. The crime here, you're not going to see it like um, in open because cameras, you do something here, they'll catch you up in 10 blocks away because the uh, cameras will be following you. Okay. So they got basically... Oh, and they have an entire team just sitting on cameras tracking you down the next road. these people telling them, hey, this car, 
stop him. At this point, you really get to appreciate how knowledgeable Ali is on life in the organization. Alright, we're going in to play uh, some soccer now. Hey, Aaron, you're gonna have to get out, bro. Really? Yeah, they're not gonna let you. Ay, yo con escre mi amigo. I didn't bring my ID specifically because I don't want to get caught up into something and they have my address. So that's why I'm not walking around with my ID. Uh, ¿Qué piensas que caminar a las no. y, ca y cambia dos? Ah. <laughs> Around me, it just looks like a standard suburb. It doesn't look like we're too deep into the hood yet. Tú eres una persona muy inteligente, ¿eh? Gracias. You uh, intelligent. Por qué, por qué tú piensas? Por todo lo que estás haciendo. Oh, okay. Nice, cool. He thinks I'm, uh, I'm intelligent. Gracias. Eres muy bueno. Muy gracias. Por eso te digo que estamos, la gente aquí perdió muchas cosas. Se perdieron muchas cosas de unos años para atrás. Yeah. Se perdieron muchas cosas. But he's saying, I think there's a lot of stuff that you don't know about people from years before. Respeto, They've done a lot of things, so just respect their culture and you're good. No way. <laughs> okay, we're scooted in right now. We just picked up. It's probably better if you raise up above us. Scooted in four people right now in the back of the car. Rolling deep. And we're going somewhere. I have no idea where. Uh, I've asked not to get any details anymore because I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be the one that can be to blame. You know, I'm just here to, to film the homies hanging out and see how they live regular life. And they're they're f around, they're having fun right now, so. Yeah. Chatting about a bunch of shit, I have no idea what they're saying, so. But I gotta get a. I gotta rip a good hit for Ali here. Bro, you ain't smoking it. You don't know what, the, what, what, what you're doing. Wait, was that not good? <laughs> Come on, that was a good hit. Oh, <coughs> uh, check this. A homie over here. Uh, Caltor, Caltoca? No. Clalo. Clalo is a uh, gamer. What was your childhood like? Because my childhood was what you're doing right now. I grew up fishing, hunting, uh, being in nature. I, I, didn't really, I didn't really have any video games. You see those three crosses right there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, uh, so every year they, they, they have a, uh, something called Passion of the Christ and they hang people up there. Really? Yeah. What? Oh, we're in the hood. Oh, uh, we're in the hood. <laughs> wait, wait uh, it's a parade. So they don't actually well, no, hang no, no, people no. to death. It's, it's like a celebration. But nobody dies. No, nobody dies. Oh, come on, bro. I think we're going into his house. But already I see a lot of these religious statues. Mary, Jesus. A lot of religious shrines around the barrios here. Remember, this is a Mexico City barrio. Much different than one you'd see in other states. I'm gonna get you a special Mexican drink. Okay. Okay. It's like alcohol. It's like it's like having a beer. Okay. Yeah. Pulque. It's like the, it's the beer of the barrios. These are pulques. What's what's it's it made a out of? Mexican traditional drink. It's it's alcoholic. Uh, made made with milk. Cheers. 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 Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is good. Cuanto, cuanto pesos? Por todo o por uno? Por uno, cada uno. Okay, one is three dollars. If you drink five of these, bro, that's that's a, a billion calories. You need to go to the gym 12 times to, to get rid of one of these. I rate it. Good. Okay, the boys gave me another one. Uh, ¿Cómo es lo mazapan cacahuate? Smells like uh, peanut butter. Bro, these things are good, man. Look how it looks. No, my gay. El agave. El agave es para tequila. No, 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 no gay, no gay, no gay, no gay, no gay. 
<laughs> no, no homosexual. No. <laughs> so, so this one's called natural. It's Why is pure. it called natural? It's the, it's the purest. No, it's a heavy. <laughs> it's a very heavy <laughs> alcohol. Nice. Mexicans learned how to, um, and what they would do is they'll ferment it. Okay. In prison, we do the, They do this. In prison. You make this in prison? So this is a uh, prison moonshine here. Oh, oh no 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 no! That's not the prison moonshine. We they get prison they get prison moonshine out of this. So this is this a this a thinner, stronger alcoholic drink. It's called it's called turbo. Hi. Oh God! Oh my God! These are so dog. Do I do I got that prisoner build? No, bro, you didn't get that prisoner, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> if if I just walked in one day in like a jumpsuit, like, yeah, you, like as if I'm a okay, new prisoner, like a new inmate. yeah, if I'm a new inmate, what do you think? They're gonna beat your ass first of all. Oh, really? Yeah. They beat your ass when you're a new inmate? They beat you up. Just to put you in your place? Yeah, so you can understand that. <laughs> Holy so shit. If, if you, if, like, if you're, if you're there for, for like, a, a, um, like a, a bad crime. Okay. If you come with heat, you're gonna get beat up by the guards. They're gonna, they're gonna crack you. In the What's gonna, a bad crime? It's like for pedophilia. Kid, for, for, kidnap, for kidnapping, for murder, um, for uh, organized crime, when they know that you you have heat from the streets. Okay. So what they do is that the government once once you step into the the prison, bam bam bam, they hit you so that you can understand that they're the ones in charge. But then when you go into general population, you get you get beat up again by the <laughs> by the people that are. That all that is Mexico City. Oh shit! I didn't even see that. I was looking at your clothes. Damn! Cute. I think we're gonna get stopped right now, so you better be, you better be on point. By a guard? Be yeah, by the cops. They're behind us. Hey, is that tower the center where we're at? Yeah. So we're staying out there next to those towers. So we're completely overviewing Mexico City right now, and this place is massive. So from this same spot. You can watch the sunset and the sunrise. These guys in the street right now are having a fight. They're having a fight in the middle of the street. We just saw from the top of the hill. <laughs> no, we're so deep. A random fight breaks out in the middle of the hood. <laughs> now nah, I gotta get this on my phone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> check this, check this. A fight breaks out in the middle of the street. We're in the hoods of Mexico City right now. And there's a dog. There's a dog for emotional support. <laughs> Gracias. I'll start with the light one. Inside of it's frijol, it's beans. Papa y frijol. Nice, not bad. Bueno, this guy behind me is a homeless crackhead. But we don't know his story. It's like if somebody is born into that life, how hard is it to get out of that? It's the questions I like to ask myself when I see these kind of things. So, we're in the metro station. Oh, churros. Churros, churros outside of a bathroom. Quanto? Yes, una bolsa, bolsa. Comer con mi. No, no, todo, todo, todo. Eating uh, churros outside of a bathroom in the barrios of Mexico. Mi amigo y yo comer churros. <laughs> y fumar churros. <laughs> I'm learning the local slang here too. There's a uh, Chinese food store. This is sushi. What's in it? Tofu and carrots? What's in it? What's in it? Onion, onion and carrots? We're at a metro in the hood. Pretty nice metro if you compare it to New York City. I mean, does this city run as efficiently as New York City? I think it runs more. There's a lot of people right now. If you look behind me, it's fully packed. So we're in peak rush hour. Holy shit, this line is getting big. I'm getting a lot of looks right now. We're about to, we're about to rat race through the metro. There's graffiti all over the windows of the metro. We don't make it? 
Next one? Yeah, we gotta push this. Okay, good. Good. We lost the rat race. Bro, come on. You're gonna lose your stuff. Really? You get you get robbed like that? Yo, what if we get in and we hold it tight? We're buying hood bread. Yo, I have one. Bueno. Quanto? Yeah, bueno. Side of the road. Hood bread. We're about to go into the hood deeper and spray paint graffiti onto a wall. You opening my channel? Yeah, he's gonna follow you, he's gonna follow you. Data's weak out here. He wants to see my YouTube channel. Ali just called me poor. The street signs are completely covered in stickers and stickers and graffiti. None of the street signs as we get deeper and deeper have uh, any use. They're all covered. It's graffiti everywhere. So this entire car ride, I have no idea where we're going. I'm just trusting Ali. Hola. Como se llama? Chester Hates. Chester Hates. Chester Hates. Is he a, like, is he a real wrestler? Like, will you, you gonna, are you gonna Rey Mysterio me? No, 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 es un personaje creado. Ah, okay, okay. I can't show most of what happens here due to YouTube's guidelines, but they run a local live stream centered around that green plant that people smoke. If you want to see the full interaction, visit my website for the extended uncensored cuts of all my videos. Trust me, I've tried to show it on YouTube, but they just take the video down. Tú eres uh, Snoop Dogg. De México. De México. Remember me this video like buying a steroids in some country like Tigray? Buying steroids in Paraguay? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You know, I see like the reels. The guy recognized me from a viral YouTube short six months ago. And that social proof instantly gave me street cred amongst all the guys. They ended up inviting me on their show and deep into their secret, not so legal pharmacy hidden behind a library. Hold on. Whoa. Going down to a basement to sign a wall. Can you grab this and just point it up? Holy shit! This is an entire factory. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Yes. You are to I would love to. Yes. What about right here? So that way yeah. anybody going up the stairs yeah, has yeah. to read it. Yeah, go ahead. <coughs> All right. Is it cool? I think it. I think I fucked it up. That's my signature. Bueno. Gracias. Gracias. Arab uncut. Arab uncut. If you guys want to be watching this kind of stuff, YouTube bans it, so we have to toss it on the website. <laughs> The boys then taught me their secret signs. <laughs> Alright, I uh I look like an idiot. So this is not a gang sign, so we're no, safe. I can toss this up in public. I could be walking around and go W gang. W gang. So the same people who just had a shop for us just opened up their barber shop for it. Whoa. You wanted to get a haircut in the hood? Bro, this ain't in the hood. This is, the, this, this is the rich side of the hood. Mexico City, bro. Yeah, make sure, please, he doesn't touch the long hair. Oh, I've seen this. So this is uh, chamoy and chili. It's sweet and it's got a bit of kick to it. But a very, very light kick. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a Mexican barrio haircut. I don't have a choice on what's happening here, only that they're not touching my long hair. So the rest of it, it's Mexican style. I could come out looking like a Pablo Escobar. That's Colombian. Uh, El Chapo. Oh, is he finishing me now? You guys just tag team my haircut? Yeah, he cut himself. Really? Yeah, you moved your head and you made a pencil. Did he just chop my hair off? Did he just chop my hair off? Yeah, a little bit. 
He just fucked me up. Oh, yeah. Yes, he totally did, bro. <laughs> My long hair has been like this for three years, bro. Just <laughs> chopped half of it all. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just fucking ruined my long hair. <laughs> I'm going bald after this for sure. Just take it all off. All of it? On the bird? I'm gonna just go stack. Stack? Yeah, stack. Just stack it all off. Yeah. 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 Soy mexicano, wey. Soy mexicano, wey. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa, wey, amigo? I feel like I dawned with this cut, bro. Done. Oof, went through a uh, went through an entire war zone for that one. My neck is a. Uh, my neck is going through it for sure. Oh, for my hands, for my face? But I can I, uh, for sure I'm going through it. Blood in a, a lot of places. Honestly, the worst cut I've ever had in my life. I mean, they don't really grow beards in Mexico, so I get it. But they were super hospitable. So this entire hood that we're in right now is the butchery. The majority of Mexico City gets their meat from this market. It's just a big ass open meat market in the middle of the street. If you want to buy any human parts, they sell them here as well. Stop. No troll. <laughs> How much is an eyeball? For sure, some human trafficking happens here. There's no way it doesn't. How easy is it to have an open room in the back with some human parts? Come on. They literally have thousands, if not tens of thousands of dead cows or pigs. Just entire butchery meat markets. So this is the end. This is the end. Finally. So we're deep inside a graffiti shop now. They got graffiti all on the walls. Everywhere, and they got these like streetwear designs. It's like a streetwear shop, and they have cans of graffiti spray. Cans, how many cans do we need? 20, 24. Cash? 250. Big, big. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look how many colors are behind me. Gracias, amigos. Rojo, rojo. Bueno, gracias. The boys are telling me I'm going to get sick. It's too cold, so. He gave me one of his jackets. Yo, how do I look? You look good, man. You look fly. How do I look? I have one. It's clean. Um... Whoever wants it, I'm, I'm trying to get more printed so I can give to all the boys. Can, can you tell them this is the first one printed? I gave the boys some Arab Uncut merch, which you can buy. And they decided to give me an America jersey as well. That's one of the soccer teams in Mexico. I've never, I've never been a uh, graffiti tagging, but you can smell the paint. That's why they wear masks, I guess. But you can smell the paint. It says Arab Uncut. And they each have their own style of graffiti. So he just drew a U. You can, you can see, it's hard to see because there's all the old stuff on it. But when it gets covered, it'll, it'll become much easier. Going back down. A-R-B Uncut. Does he, does he want me to help and spray more white? Okay, it's my first ever uh, graffiti. So check this. This is the first Arab Uncut. A R A B U N C U T. We are taking you through the real life, the real culture here in Mexico. Oh wow. Say, 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 diga, diga, diga. Diga, diga, diga. 
amigos. This is my. Pero every every time I say my to uh, escre, hey, escre, escre, escre. My name. My name. My warrior Aguila. Azteca. Eagle. My warrior eagle. Warrior eagle. 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 Don't understand it. It's pretty cool. It's the first Arab uncut graffiti. If you're out there and you guys are graffiti artists and you want to make some Arab uncut graffiti, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see who can make the uh, the best one. I'll repost my favorite ones. Check that out. Check that out. Bang. Esker is also tagging his. Arab uncut. They're tagging more. They're just non-stop tagging. That's pretty cool. Oh, that dog is crazy. Holy shit. Oh, careful. Don't, don't, don't point it at me. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, cuidado. Tengan cuidado con el este que llegan en el lado. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. That is Mexico City. Quite a surreal experience. Right now the boys are they have their armory out. Nice view of Mexico City. And that's with a laser, yeah? It's got a laser set? Okay. Just shoots it into the mountains like that? <laughs> 